magic is never giving up. Black Clover spoilers for chapter 358 just dropped. What's good with you Nero Nation? We gotta talk about it, man. But before we get into it, remember to read the official chapter once it drops this weekend. Also, some sad news. Black Clover will be going on a one month break. Uh, post to return May 22nd. It sucks, it sucks, but I guess Tabata is trying to make this final arc perfect. At the same time, we all know once he goes on break, he returns with even more fire. So be patient, be patient. I know some people are going to be really pissed, yo. I already can see the comments right now. And I know I'm late with this spoiler video, but like, yo, your boy was tired, man. Yo, staying up late for the two uh, past two days trying to catch those Borto spoilers, it, it, it drained me. It drained me. Plus, I had to go to work at my job. It was killing me. But, yo, we got to talk about these spoilers because my girl, Sus Lion, flames on. Hey, yo, hey, look, yo, I love her, man. The fact that her arm got disintegrated and she's able to regenerate it by going into her Hellfire incarnated form, like, yo, oh, my God. It makes that form even more better, man, but... This is one of those chapters where the manga isn't going to do it justice. Don't get me wrong. These spoilers look amazing. I love it. It looks flame. It looks fire as hell. No pun. No pun intended. But, all right. The pun was intended. But still, you know what I'm saying? They look good as hell. But I feel like the anime can add that music to it to make you feel like, make you feel it for, for like these warriors, these, uh, what is it, um, Crimson Lion uh, Magic Knights that are dying to make sure Sus Lion survives. Like, that was unexpected. I didn't see that coming. Now, I know a lot of people are like, yo, I don't, they don't care about these people who are dying. But some of these people were like, actually people who had big parts in the Elf Invasion arc. Not big parts, but they had a couple lines and stuff when they fought against um, their vice captain while Fagolion was still unconscious. So, you know, some of them do got a little bit of screen time and for them to be the guys that sacrificed them lives, I could just picture that being so amazing in an animated form. Like, you know, the right music playing and they're just looking at, Sus Lion, you got this! <laughs> you know, and then they like die and stuff like that could be some amazing moments. I don't know. That's just me. I just think it's dope. But at the same time, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because what happened, what happened in um the last art of uh, the, the Spade Kingdom art. But for some reason, Morris, man, it's just I hate that guy, man. I just I don't like him. <laughs> you know, it's just like, please, just lying. Put him out his misery. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. You guys can let me know if y'all feel the same way. But I'm just like, somebody needs to kill him. <laughs> somebody needs to kill him. Another th disappointment for me is for Goleon. Yo, and like, I really thought, like, when they were showing these panels and the spoilers, you got for Goleon looking at his sister as she fights on. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's the beacon of, uh, it seems as if she's the captain of the, the Crimson Lions, the way she's going all in. And you just got Fagolion fighting the little angels. Don't get me wrong. Him and his salamander are killing, you know what I'm saying, some of the angels. But at the same time, I, I, I expected Fagolion to be, Morris, don't touch my sister and do something crazy. Nah, this dude just stood like, that's my sister over there. That's my sister. Let's go over here, Salamander. Let's take down some angels. No, get in the battle, help her out. But I'm guessing fighting against someone like Morris, if those tentacles touch for Goleon, he done, he done. And it appears, I don't know if, the, I can't tell by these translations if this is Morris' uh, magic or if this is a, just a spell from his uh, grimoire disintegration because everything he touches it disintegrates and you know each time he touches this lion her arms and stuff are disintegrated but because she's in her hell fight incarnated you know which is pretty much a mana form her her arms and stuff are able to regenerate so that's pretty dope in a way she kind of got her own uh phoenix healing ability similar to like uh mars and uh what's her name fauna so I think that's pretty dope. Seeing Sis Lion go all out, just screaming, just like, yo, I'm not gonna die. It's like she's having the time of her life. Like she's smiling and you just got like all these different magic knights like jumping in the path when Sis Lion is starting to reach her limit. Then towards the end of the chapter, it looks like she unleashes a new spell. And 
I, I think it's called uh, Brachium Purgatory Incarnation. Uh, that's not the official names. We don't know. So we're going to have to wait and see. But these panels, oh my gosh, they look clean, man. Like just seeing uh, just seeing someone just fighting constantly and their body getting ripped apart, but she constantly keeps regenerating. At the same time, like she's also tearing off these tentacles on Morris, but Morris is regenerating too. But since he has the power of an angel, he's constantly regenerating, which seems to be putting Sus Lion in somewhat of a bind. But you see him looking cocky. Like, I'm looking at these panels. I don't know why. I don't know why I hate Morris so much. I want to punch the screen right now. I almost punch the screen. Like, yo, get that shit out of here, man. But anyway, you just got Morris talking junk as he just constantly uh, deteriorates everything that she does, as well as you got other Magic Knight throwing attack at Morris. And he's disintegrating all of that as well well but you just got her like i don't know man sis line she just she's another three man whenever she's doing battle man it's the monk to me it feels like the manga don't do it justice like i just gotta see her on the big screen that's oh my god i can't wait for the movie to drop but yo know, just seeing her smiling smirking going towards her and again like yo know, i'm strolling down looking at the panels man you know youtube gave me a strike the last time i had the panels on the screen but so i'm gonna put them here and there it seems like they don't bother me when i do it that way but, you know, just seeing that, and then it jumps to Fergolion fighting the Paladins. It looked like he killed about three or four of them. I mean, not Paladins, Angels. It looked like he killed about three or four of them, but I'm still like, Fergolion, please, brother, brother, <laughs> brother from another mother. Yo, help your sister out. Do something amazing. And it's crazy because a lot of people last week were saying like, yo, he's going to do a spirit dive. And I don't know about that, bro. You sure about that? <laughs> yeah, what's that, uh, the meme I keep seeing on TikTok? You sure about that? I, I don't think he's going to do anything. And then you got Magic Knights looking at Fogolion as him and Sal Salamander take on all these angels. And it's like they're proud and watching Fogolion. I'm like, I mean, this dude just fighting regular angels. You know, his sister over there battling in the, one, of the, one of the head generals. You know, maybe you should take a look at her. <laughs> but... Anyway, you got these Magic Knights saying, like, it was not looking good for Sis Lion. Like, yo, she's not going to last too long. Even for Goleon himself is, like, thinking it as well. And I'm like, for Goleon, go help her. But anyway, you got her. She's still smiling, having the time of her life, saying, like, yo, no matter what, I will burn you to a crisp. And that's why I rock with her, man. She's, she's a monster. She is a monster, man. But, yo, you got her going all in. Of course, you got, um... Like I said, the Magic Knights jumping in, taking those burns and dying for it, saying like, yo, you know, it's okay if we die. We only ask that you win this, that you take this guy down. And it just shows how much these guys respect this line. I'm really curious, would they have did the same for Fogolia? Let me know in the comment section. I don't think they would. But you got this line just like looking like, yo, I acknowledge your dying wish. I'll make it happen. Yeah, I don't know, man. These spoilers do look pretty dope. I'm loving it. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just Morris, man. I'm not a big Morris fan. Like, I wish she was fighting someone grander than Morris. You know, honestly, I would like to see her fight Aesir. But, like, once Morris die, I think that's going to be when I'll be the happiest. I'm going to be like, yes, they got his ass out. <laughs> that might just be me. But let me know y'all thoughts on these spoilers in the comment section below, man. But, like, yo, it's, it's getting crazy up here. And for Goleon, what are you going to do? Because you're looking at your sister and you're not helping her. Like I said, well, you know what? A lot of people want Leo to show up, and I think this would be the perfect time for Leo. If Leo show up and he's strong enough for Goliath, I'm going to be like, you, you bitch, you're trash. <laughs> I don't know. That's just what something I would probably say. But let me know y'all thoughts on these spoilers. Also, I want to know more about this final attack that Sis Lion did, because it looks like she does this attack, and then the chapter ends. So I really want to know what the hell, what's, what's everything that's surrounding that. Um, but... If y'all want to know more about the Hellfire Incarnated spell, I do got a te technique guide um, video on it, so go ahead and check that out. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, make sure you thumb it up, subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications. With that being said, peace!